Hello everybody, Mr. Kamsley here with a mock of Crisis City from Sonic 06, which is everyone's favorite game. Everyone loves that game, right? Yes, everyone does. Now there's a lot I could have done for this mock. Um, I could have built a bunch of buildings on fire and stuff like that, and I could have made it quite complicated because the stage itself has a lot in it. But I wanted to really simplify it and condense it and do one little scene. That's what I've been trying to do with a lot of my stage mocks. So I think I did a pretty good job of just capturing the main parts of the stage basically in just the fact that there's a smashed up bridge because that's mostly the stage I think. Just going over bridges and stuff like that and yeah sure you're climbing a couple buildings and going across roads but I figured just dr building like a bridge type road thing um, that's kind of leaning over, toppling over, looks like it's about to fall into the lava and all that. Um, I think it just captures the disaster of Crisis City so well. So anyway, I'll just show you a couple of the building techniques that I used and yeah, up top you'll automatically notice that I've put Sonic and Silver both in this um, mock and obviously they're kind of main characters of the stage itself, I think. I could have put Shadow, but I don't know, Shadow drives a giant jeep everywhere, so um, I could have built that, but I didn't. So anyway, Sonic's kind of running here and obviously Silver's chucking stuff at him because, I mean, Silver's got telekinesis, so what is he gonna, is he gonna do? Um, I've attached Silver to get that little floating look and like he's using his telekinesis power. Just using one of these studs with the holes inside and I've just put one of these like claw pieces in there. And just using some of the um, recent like Avengers type pieces to get like the, the uh, telekinesis stuff. And this is just a very simple build of him throwing a crate and I think it just works really well for the mock. Um, you'll notice immediately that this rail here is obviously not on properly, which um, is great. And I find that in mocks, when you don't put pieces down or like you have them angling in some weird direction, it just looks so much better, adds to that. So not everything needs to be like perfectly on. Having stuff messy in a mock, I feel like also can look good, but can also look bad. So I'm hoping that I tried my best at making this look clean, but also yet chaos, which is what I was trying to get at. So especially the greebling in the street. Um, you'll notice also here I've got a street lamp. Um, I've put a red he like a red one by two um, translucent there because most of the stage is more of a red um, fiery feel. So I figured, oh maybe if it's like a dead light, maybe it's reflecting like the red. I don't know. So, I used red other than, rather than like a dark translucent or something like that. I'll move the camera down a bit and you'll notice the street, like I said, um, a bit of greebling. And over on this side as well, you'll notice that there's a bit of a corner out of the stage, or out of the road there. Um, this is used, or this is made using, I have this, so this road, it is made up of three plates, um, or it's like basically a brick high. Um, there are three plates stacked on top of each other, so I was able to um, just put the plates over on that side, and then I used like the um, the sloped plates for those sides to get that nice like chunk out of it. And this pillar here is like not even really holding it. Um, you can see that just with the cheese slope, and on the other side, you'll notice that there's also another pillow there. There's fire and stuff coming up, and um, there's like supports from the insides of the road here sticking out. Same with the other side, you'll notice that there's like supports and stuff like that and um, I'll move you down a bit lower so you can see the lava down below which isn't super detailed, I just wanted to make it simplistic and really focus on the bridge aspect. Um, and I should have had more fire, I should have had a lot more fire which would have been great. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'll move the camera down and you guys can take a look at the bottom. So here you can automatically tell that there's lava down below and stuff like that, and um, I've got a bit of greebling as well on the road here. You can see some studs showing. There's a couple of these uh, one by one, like pyramid pieces sticking out. I thought that represented like maybe bubbling ma magma there or something like that. Um, fire, you can see a bit of a building there with some brick work there, the modified um, one by two. Um, there's a bit of like weird debris down there, a bit of piping and stuff like that. So obviously, stuff's like melting into the lava and like chunks of like the road maybe and stuff like that. Uh, moving around back, very simple, um, not much, just a pipe. Um, one of these things which looks nice from the front but obviously 
Um, I don't put too much detail into the back of my mocks because I like to look at them from the front when I display it on the shelf. Um, but yeah, so how this road is built is, I'll lift it up here just so you can see, is I've got this piece connected down on the jumper there. And this is just um, these two big wall pieces on a 2x6, I believe. And at the top here, I'll remove that, is one of these pieces. It's a 1x2 with the little hinge thing, the 2x2. Two two. And I've just placed it on there so that it can slope quite nicely. And with the support beams, it just it holds it really nicely and um, works really well in the end. Well, that's been my mock of Crisis City. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and maybe you're inspired to build something of your own. If you do happen to build a LEGO Sonic mock or something like that, feel free to let me know down in the comments. I would love checking your guys' stuff out um, and it makes me ha really happy to see. Um, if you have any feedback or suggestions for me for future builds or content, um, please let me know down in the comments. I really appreciate it. And I haven't really formally said thank you for 600 subscribers. Um, I did a meme video, but that's that. Um, it means a lot to have your guys' support, and I just wanted you guys to know that um, I'm really happy that you guys are enjoying my content. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, leave a like. If you're brand new here, please consider subscribing. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.